Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Catherine Collins. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, March 11, 2024. Hello, class. Let's go ahead and settle down. At this time, you have completed your work. I'm very happy about that. We have 10 minutes left of class. Go ahead, it's free time. Mom, look what I have. What? It's a bop it. I haven't played one of these in so long. I got this one out of my attic. I've never seen one. It sounds gross if it came from your attic. I cleaned it, so it's fine. Just try it. All you have to do is pull it, bop it, or twist it when it says to. Why is this so hard? It's moving too fast. I don't perceive it as hard. Just move faster. Bop it. Pull it. Yow! I remember my first. I don't want to play this anymore. It's too hard. But it's so easy for me. Why isn't it for you? That's how you perceive it. I perceive it as a hard game. Okay, let me show you. Solo. High score 16. Bop it. Hey Patriots, today in history on March 11th, 1927, the Roxy Theater opened in New York. When it opened, it was New York's most lavish combination movie and stage show place. With 6,200 seats and it was considered to be the largest and most luxurious film house in the world. It took 11 months to construct. A week before the Roxy Theater was opened, it was sold to the owner William Fox. The first film to show in the theater was The Loves of Sonia starring Gloria Swanson. I wonder how it felt to film in there. Now let's go to Jasmine for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Camilo. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets, turkey and cheese deluxe, hoagie, mashed potatoes, garden side salad, cucumber, ranch dressing, mandarin oranges, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is egg and cheese breakfast burrito, frosted cornflakes, graham crackers, fresh orange, and 100% apple juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch menu can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let you know we are receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Catherine. Thank you, Jasmine. That sounds scrumptious. Tomorrow, third through fourth graders will have the chance to go to the Patriot store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure you come on time. Patriots, keep your phone shut down and air your backpacks at all times. And there's no chewing gum in school. Please spit up before entering the building. This Friday is the end of our instructional software. Come on, we're almost there. The rewards are a glow-in-the-dark party for elementary and chicken and fries for middle school. Let's put forth our maximum effort. Tomorrow is our boys' baseball tryouts. I hope you all have your completed physicals in a 3.0 GPA or higher. Good luck. Tomorrow's also our family night at Three Natives. It will be from 3 to 7 p.m. I'm so excited. Thursday is Pi Day. Have you ever heard of the 100 digits of Pi song? It's so catchy and informative. That's how I know it. Friday are our personality portraits. I'm so hyped to take my picture showing my personality. Patriots, we have a new game show on the way called Name That Tune. In order to get it going, we need you third through eighth graders to sign up. Go to room 200 to sign yourself up if you want to. Now let's go to Kalia for today's weather. Thank you, Catherine. Greetings, Patriots. Today's weather will be 79 degrees with partly cloudy skies. It's a good day to play with your friends. In other weather news, this corgi was having trouble moving through this historical snowfall in North Platte, Nebraska. With 15.3 inches of snow, this site is historical because it added a whopping 8.3 inches with very strong winds. And this is the most snow Nebraska has ever seen. And you might think that the dog was happy, but you would be mistaken. This dog seemed pretty upset, but I think the dog enjoyed his time in the snow. Now let's wish our Patriots a happy birthday with a lion. Thank you, Kalia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Zaheer Lyons and Aria Orpton. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Catherine. Thank you, Eliah. 
Patriots, here your past expectations. It represents presenting yourself positively, act kind towards others, to the schools of art respectfully, and succeed at everything. Today's day challenge is Daily Challenge. What is the largest tropical rainforest in the world? Teachers, please send answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be in NASA the next morning announcement. Everyone at RPT, we'd like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. Have a great day!